I'm watching this one U.S. Senator, Kennedy, talking to this guy from the Fed about the stress test. And one of the things that they're, they're saying up on Capitol Hill, particularly the Democrats, they're saying that the problem was that Silicon Valley Bank was too small to be stress tested, that the largest banks were the banks that were required to pass the Fed's stress tests. And Silicon Valley Bank didn't make the cut. And so this Senator Kennedy is pointing out the truth. If you had stress tested Silicon Valley Bank in 2022, it wouldn't have made any difference, would it? I don't know the answer to that question. Well, you didn't test for Silicon Valley Bank's problem. I've read your report. Your, your stress test, you stress tested these 34 banks for uh, falling GDP, spike in unemployment, and defaults in commercial real estate. Isn't that correct? Yes, in a typical adverse scenario for banks, we're testing but, falling interest but, rate but environments. But that wasn't our problem in 2020. I, I completely agree and with you. It's not our problem today. The problem yeah. is inflation, high interest rate, and loss of value in government bonds, isn't it? I completely agree with you. So you, you, you stress tested in 2022 for the wrong thing. When these tests were announced, it was like three years ago, right, when the Fed came out and they did all these stress tests, and they made a big deal in the media because they were promoting, hey, look, the banking system is sound. All of these banks passed our stress test. Hallelujah. We got nothing to worry about. Good thing we got the bet on the job putting these banks through these rigorous stress tests. And now we could all sleep soundly knowing that all these banks have passed the Fed's stress test. Now, most people probably just, OK, great. The Fed stress tested them and they passed. Nobody bothered to actually look at the assumptions that were in the stress test. I did. I looked at them and I saw that they were testing for the wrong thing. And if you don't believe me, you could just look at Twitter because I happened to pull up this tweet and I retweeted it today. And the original tweet was from June 21st of 2019. This is when they had announced the results of these stress tests. And everybody was lauding the results and how great it was that we had such a sound banking system that all the banks passed, right? And I said, I'm gonna read my own tweet, right? This is what I said. The Fed's stress tests are worthless. The most adverse scenario assumes both inflation and long-term interest rates fall. During the next recession, both inflation and long-term interest rates will rise. No major bank could survive stagflation. That's why the Fed doesn't test for it. That's it. I nailed this three years ago. The idiots at the Fed, and these guys are supposed to be the smart ones, but they were too dumb to see what I tweeted about three years ago. And again, I didn't tweet about it because I was so smart. It's just they were that dumb to have missed something so obvious.